guys well i have a big haul for you at the end of this video but first i wanted to show you a few small video clips of a fun antique mall that i visited with some friends so i didn't show you every single booth but i did show you a few that i thought were pretty cool um this first booth is very me i love that every booth kind of has its own authentic feel based on the owner this was really cool with all the sort of boho fruit and the cups i love pottery as you guys know um i took a look at this lamp i thought it was pretty cool i love that look of those old brass pieces but you know Gotta look at all the cool stuff. I liked that mirror a lot. I actually have a similar one. Um, I almost bought that big giant vase, but it had a crack. I was super sad, the one with the crane on it. But really nice boho vibes in here that pretty much mimic what we have in our house. A lot of nice carved wood. I thought this lamp was so pretty of the two sparrows. Cute, right? This booth had tons of glass, so I don't really gravitate towards glassware as much, but I'm trying to learn more about it, uh, especially for resale, and it's always fun to look. It's fun when you find things, too, that you have found yourself at thrift stores to see what dealers are putting out themselves and the prices that they put of course I had to show you this booth because of all the mid mod vibes I loved that kitchen table I loved the pottery this booth was really really cool too very like jungle almost kind of reminded me of Elvis's house those were a couple of really nice camel bags I was thinking about grabbing one but they are pretty expensive but again all the boho vibes for me absolutely love that brutalist lamp but they are super expensive if you could ever find one at an estate sale i suggest grabbing it they're worth quite a bit just checking out all the pottery that clock was cool Lots of boho rattan in this booth. So in our area, there's just so much rattan. Oh, there's me. Hello. Wearing my alpaca sweater. It's quite cozy. I loved this china hutch. I don't need one, um, but I thought it was stunning. This was a cute little booth. I liked all the cruel embroideries they had checking everything out always got to look at the old books this is a weird lamp pretty cool big chalkware native american piece some pretty little trays and i love funky art i liked these two i believe they were needle points yeah, I thought those were cute. This booth is probably one of my most favorite. Um, I always, always look at what he has. He's got everything priced really high. That bunny picture is absolutely phenomenal, but I think it was like two or three hundred dollars. He also has vintage Halloween that I always pine over too, but it's so expensive. He's got it, he's got everything marked up. Um, I also usually check out this oil painting. I can't decide if I want it or not. I always look at it, but then I almost always end up leaving it behind. But it's been there for a few years, so there's a part of me that wants to nab it. But I think it was like $100. I, let's see. Yeah, pretty close. But he's just got a lot of really cool stuff. Definitely a lot of things that I'm interested in. This was a really cool booth, kind of like mid-mod, boho, meets 
kitsch 70s, which I'm all for. I loved that Native American rug picture. Tall boy. Some old Tupperware. What do you guys think? Do you buy old Tupperware when you find it? This was another cool booth. They had tons of mid-mod. Um, I loved those orange chairs. I was really contemplating grabbing them. Um, but they had covers over the arms, and when you took the covers off, there was you could see that they were a very different color, so that kind of bothered me. I've also had my eye on this art, but it doesn't really match the colors of our house, which is why I haven't scooped it up, but... Gotta love all the teak and all the kind of retro art, sand art. Hi guys. Okay, well, I just filmed this video for an entire hour, not realizing that my phone went into like defense mechanism um, because it was too full and basically stopped filming after the first 30 seconds of the video. So that's fun. Uh <laughs> Um, take two. No, but I'm super excited to be here actually and show you kind of all of the loot. I've been meaning to put up a video forever. You know me, I just like continue to thrift and then if I don't film, then it gets real crazy. And that's where we are today, crazy town. So very excited to kind of run through all the loot. Um, almost all of it's from Goodwill, although we did go to uh, a couple of antique malls with some of my friends and then you know a few like kind of outlier um thrifts i went to a restore and a hospice and i think that's like pretty much it so yeah let's get the show on the road okay um i'm da -da -da. so i got these little owls i thought they were super cute um let's see i think i've had i've had like a version multiple versions of these cute little owls in the past. They're not something that I find in Florida too often. We sadly don't have as much like cute vintage like 70s kitsch as like the center other parts of the country. So we have a lot of cool tropical and lots of like 70s rattan and like we're very like boho but we don't have a lot of 70s kitschy owls. So when I found these guys I was super excited. Um then I grabbed this. It's not the most exciting thing I've ever thrifted, but I love pottery. I love things that are handmade. There's just something so earthy and just kind of special about it because somebody put in all this effort. So it's just really pretty. You can tell it's hand thrown. Um, I it's it's a beer mug, but you could use it for coffee too. That would be kind of cool. I feel like at this moment I could use I could use this much coffee. I really could. Cause it is Monday, y'all don't know this, but it is Monday night and your girl has had a day and a weekend. I actually had a really great weekend, but you know how sometimes when you have a really great weekend, you're just tired. Like I need a weekend for my weekend. Um, then I picked up these little jars. So, you know, um, kind of like useful vintage, right? So not super fancy or anything crazy um literally a jam jar but i just loved the little patchwork i thought it was super kind of kitschy cute so i'll use these for like office storage or even food storage um i think is fine so i don't know cute and i like glass i don't like plastic so um there's that um <clears throat> i picked up this guy on the kitsch train. I thought it was cool though. I have a big one that's orange that I use around fall and kind of like Thanksgiving decor because it's very, I don't know, kind of reminds me of like a cornucopia or something. I don't know. But anyway, I've never seen a pink one. So I thought this was cool. Um, it's kind of like all dried flowers on the inside. It's a dome and it's made by, it's made in Belgium, which is super rad. And look at that. I cannot pronounce that. I'm going to say side art i have no idea could be wrong um but anyway thought it was neat and mid-century it was five dollars oh i haven't really been telling you prices huh um five dollars five dollars for the owls i think the mug was three 
Um, the little jars were a dollar each, so that's good. And yeah, doing good. Um, then I got a set of these vintage uh, duck mallard rocks glasses. I thought they were cool. I like I liked this shape. I thought that was really pretty. Plus, I love mallards. I'm into like. I don't know my whole house is basically a man cave so yeah i love mallards um got a set of nine of these so these will be on etsy i think pretty much everything i've showed so far will be on etsy except for my little jars yeah i believe those were a dollar each so nothing too crazy um then i got this thing so I listen, I have no idea like what the purpose of this is. I think it's just pretty, but it's glass. And it if it's not handmade, it certainly looks handmade because it's very imperfect um, and just kind of like gloppy. <laughs> I don't know, that makes it sound really ugly, but it's really pretty. I mean, it it's really cool when you like kind of hold it up and let the light in. It would be really neat because it would just like twist and twist and just pick up the light. I have no idea. I have no idea how old this is. I, I know nothing, guys. I'm gonna have to guess it. It's probably not like old, old, but even if it's 90s or like very early 2000s, like that still counts as vintage. Um, so I don't know. I am gonna put it on Etsy. It was $10. Well, I'm gonna do more research on it and then put it on Etsy. Cause like, it's not even, it's not even perfectly round. Can you see that when I hold it? So I do feel like this is very much homemade. Well, not homemade, but handmade. So I don't know. At first I was like, is this home goods junk? But now I'm like, I actually think that it's really maybe something a little cooler than that. Hopefully. I don't know. I said, I don't know a lot because I really don't. Um, then I just picked up this little uh, I guess it's kind of like a terrarium, but, or a jewelry box, but just vintage brass and glass, very pretty, kind of a little wobbly, you know how vintage go vintage gets, but I thought it was really cute. I like the little feet and these usually do okay for me on Etsy. So whenever I find them, I pick them up. Um, then I got these cool horses. So they're not old, old, like they're made to look old, old, but like, hello, they're not. But they are still really cool. They're wood, they are solid wood, they're carved, and they have these this really nice like brass detail that I totally dig. I especially like that their manes are brass. Like, that's cool, right? And the green, like the chippy green, it's neat. So you could, they would even be neat as bookends, like one facing this way and like one little booty facing this way i don't know maybe that would be weird maybe it would be cool i don't know but anyhow they are really neat um and they're in pretty good sort of vintage condition so these guys are actually already on etsy so you know go check them out if you're interested i think they're pretty cute oh goodness everything's so hard to reach i'm like eh. Um, then I got a set of these brass, this brass stemware. So if you remember a few hauls ago, I actually got a whole set of these and I was super excited about it because I'd never seen these before. And then I sell them and then literally find another set like right after. So sometimes, sometimes the hunt, the quest is a little weird that way, but, um, they're really pretty. I love the etching on them. I am going to try to polish them up a little bit with some Brasso because some, some of the details you can't see as nicely. If they were a little more polished, they'd be, it'd be easier to see. Um, and then on the other side, I think these are actually even cooler than the other set I got. Um, cause they say Saudi Arabia on them. Like, come on, that's so rad. I think that these are like a vintage souvenir. Um, I got a set of six, so that is super fun. And then I also got a mug. Um, so I think this could be brass, but it also sort of looks like stainless or silver plate, but I don't know, it's not marked. So I'm gonna say maybe it's old brass. I have no idea. But anyhow, I think it's really, really beautiful. Look at that. And then again, it says Saudi Arabia. How neat, right? 
I don't know. My little boho heart loves this. This would even be cool like to hold pens or pencils or like makeup brushes. I have no idea. I love that. So this was $3. The, the stemware was $10 for the whole set. Like that's way cheaper than the other set I got. The other set, they were $3 each. So I don't know. You never know with Goodwill. Sometimes everything's really expensive. Sometimes it's really fair. You just never know what you're going to find. I guess that's the thrill of it, huh? Yes. All right. Um, then I got this weird lady. <laughs> I don't really know about her, but I just thought she was cool. Sometimes like when you find weird stuff, I just feel like I have to buy it. Um, so she's super cute. She is, I'm going to guess she's Mexican. Um, she's kind of this pretty terracotta. Um, her little, she's like almost a little bell, but I love that she's holding these two little jars. So you could use her, her little like bowls, I guess. So you could use her as a salt seller, um, or she could hold earrings, but I just love her funny little eyes. Like those are so cool, right? And she's in really great condition. She's handmade, just special. I don't know. There's just something really cool about her. So she is on Etsy, um, if you are interested. Alrighty. Then I picked up a couple little owls. Um, this guy is a little souvenir from Hoselton, Canada. So he's neat. I believe he's aluminum and they made all these different little owls and they each have a number. So he's 274. Um, I did pay up for him a little bit cause I just sort of, I just wanted him. Um, he's worth maybe like 30 bucks, 30 to 36. I paid eight. So, you know, it, whatever. I just thought he was cool and I love owls. So I got him and then I got this little guy. And this guy was is super cute and he was just a dollar. He is cypress wood um, and he's handmade here in Florida. So I thought he was really cute. And I just sort of like, I don't know, the parliament all together. So cute. Um, okay, oh gosh, you guys. Everything's far away. Meow. Oh, I'll show you this. This is kind of neat. Um, I found one of these a few weeks, not a few weeks, a few hauls ago. So I don't know, a few months ago, maybe. I don't know. Um, and the other one I found is a little bigger, but this one's neat because it's a music box. So that's fun. Um, and this one is made in Japan, although it does look like the Italian Florentine. Um, it is not but it's still super beautiful, it's still mid-century, um, has a nice little mirror, hello. Um, yeah, just really cute. So, has a little made in Japan on the bottom and it was $5. So not too shabby. Um, then I found this delightful but also terrifying unicorn. <laughs> Like this is the kind of thing that you have to buy because how could you not, but also yikes. Um, I don't know guys, I really don't know. I just couldn't leave it. It was too hilarious. He's like carpet and yeah, very 70s, 80s, probably early 80s. Um, but it was only 99 cents. So I couldn't leave it behind. It's too funny. So that guy will find his way on Etsy. I'm sure he will be a good deal. <laughs> um, then I got these candlestick holders. They could also be used as vases. Um, I have to do a little bit more research about them, but I knot them because I just liked the bottom. So I liked how they're these like really kind of pretty swirly glass and I like having a set of two. And I loved the bottom, how it just sort of pools in these like globs of glass at the bottom. I don't know there's just something like very aesthetically pleasing to me about that so I, I don't know I think I'm not 100% sure um, who made them but I just thought they were neat so they were three dollars each um, and those will be on Etsy this one. Okay, um, then I got this really pretty picture that I thought was very neat. Um, I 
so it's wood um but it's hand painted these beautiful flowers are hand painted on this piece of wood it's looks like oil to me because it has it's a slightly raised but it could be acrylic i'm not totally sure um it was at one point it did at one point have like a little string i think to hang it so i might try to reattach a string i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with it as far as the that goes but i just thought it was so pretty i just couldn't leave it behind is that so pretty i don't know and i like the black it's just so feminine oh my goodness can you guys hear cabbage she is throwing her bowl around she probably hears me talking and is like oh good this lady is up she can give me some lettuce what a stinker even when i'm not in the same room as her she's stinky silly rabbit um this was 2.99 so thought it was very pretty definitely old definitely got some age into that guy um oh gosh um then i got two of these really cool wooden carved baskets so this one was five dollars oh, i am terrible at doing this though look at that is that so cool so it would be so nice for bracelets i just think it's so pretty and i love the carving and the detail i just love it it's this really pretty wood really pretty natural wood grain just beautiful so I got that one and I got a slightly bigger one that I thought would be nice even for fruit. Um, I love the detail. I've seen these before, but they rarely have like all of that detail that you generally see in like Indian wood carving. So this was $6.99. Is that so pretty? I don't know. I just loved it. I thought that was so cool. I loved it. So both of those came home with me. Then I got another tray because you guys know I can never resist trays. This one was neat. It's um, also brass. Um, but look at this cool little camel. Isn't he so cool? I love him. So it has a little hook on the back so that this is like living your best life with your boho decor is that so neat i don't know i just love it so i nabbed that okay oh gosh all right so then um let's see let's see let's see. all right okay guys more of an intermission for me than for you but I did kind of move everything around, so now I can reach it. So great success. Okay, um, I got this really cool um, set. It's like a plate and a bowl and a cup. So I will show you. Oh, it's cold. I'm wearing a dress and I just put it on my leg and it was cold. Okay, um, it's Davy Crockett. So I thought it was pretty cool. Definitely very like 1950s. Look at Davy. He is a hamburger. He's a silly looking dude. What a ham. All right, and then, and here he is like super scary, wild man, Davy Crockett. Who knew, right? I did not know. And there he is again. Don't know. Seems a little culturally insensitive, but you know, the 50s was a weird time. And here we go. It says the Oxford China Company and yeah. So anyway, I thought it was really cool when I got it. It was super grubby and gross. And so it looked pretty sad, but I washed it up and now it looks really awesome. So I love it. Um, I think I paid $5 for the whole set. So not too shabby. Um, that will be on Etsy one day. <laughs> Um, then I got this cute little Japanese, I believe it's Japanese, um, print of these two little kittens. 
So it's a reproduction, obviously. It's not like super old, but I just thought it was really cool. And they're so sweet, aren't they? And it's framed nicely. It's under glass and professionally framed. So in a wood frame. So yeah, very cute little picture. Um, that I believe is on Etsy at the moment. So, well, I guess to be honest, like most of this will probably be on Etsy by the time you guys actually watch the video, but you never know with me. I'm kind of slow. Um, then I got a whole set of these glass little jars. I guess they're kind of like spice jars. Um, they are solid glass. They're made in Japan. Um, so I got cloves. I got random. Nobody knows. Um, I got celery salt and poultry flakes. Don't have any idea what that means. Um, and then just another one that's blank. So I'm not sure if somebody would want to use these like actually as, um, as spice jars, but they would be really cool for Halloween, like as like little potion jars. I don't know, but there's just something really neat about them. I love how you can see all the natural imperfections in the glass. There's just something that you don't really see in newer glass items, even though this isn't super old. It is made in Japan, um, so probably 1970s, but they're really cool. So I paid a dollar each for these guys, um, and they are on Etsy. So that's fun. Um, then I got this. It is a, so I believe it's like a little oil lamp where you pour the oil in here and then you put the wick on the top. Um, but it's very nice, um, thick glass. So it is by Crossno. So it is, um, made in Poland. So it's a Polish glass company and it's just very sleek and clean and kind of elegant. I'm not, not very elegant myself, but you know, sometimes I pick up some cool things like this and I dig it. Um, it was $3. All righty. Then I grabbed another little vintage hand mirror. These are usually quite popular and do well. So that is fun. Um, this was $4.99 blinding myself over here with this thing. Yeek. Um, and I got this little mini wicker chair. I thought it was so cute. Like I thought it would be awesome for a plant, but it, I mean, you could use it for a doll too. Definitely. But I just thought it was so sweet. Isn't that great? Something very like eighties about it. I liked it. Little plant chair. Um, okay. All right. Then I got this really neat California pottery fish dish. So when I first looked at him, I was like, man, that looks so cool. But like the glaze looked sort of mid-century. But then I was like, this looks like something that I would see at like, I don't even know, TJ Maxx or Home Goods especially in our area because everybody likes everything fish and sort of tropical themed, um, which clearly I don't fit in very well because there's like mustard and owls and Native Americans everywhere in my house because that's what I like. So I'm in the wrong area, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, I was super excited when I found it. It's made in the USA. It is actually vintage um, and I paid $10 for it, but totally worth it super pretty too. Happy to find that guy. He's very heavy though. Whew, heavy. Um, then I found this hilarious band of elephants. Yes, you heard me right. I said band of elephants. So it was a whole set of five elephants all in a little bag together. So there's this little guy. There's this little guy. These guys are so funny. Um, another little tambourine man and they're all sort of different sizes so they look really cute together 
this little guy with his drum. So they're super cute. I love them. They're in great vintage condition, like no chips or cracks. Um, they're from China and I just think they're really cute. So those guys will be on Etsy if they're not already. So you can definitely check them out. They're so cute, right? I just couldn't resist them and all their trunks are up. So they're all good luck. Um, then I just picked up this piece of pottery. I thought it was super pretty. It's handmade, it's signed on the back and it even has like a little, they were very thoughtful and put a little hole there so that you could have the little hanger right there. So I thought that was neat and it's hand painted. It looks Mexican to me. Um, definitely South American, I would have to think, but maybe not. I mean, you never know, doesn't say, but pretty, right? I liked it. I always pick up things that are handmade and pottery like this. Can't resist. Um, then I picked up a couple things at our local hospice thrift store. This thrift store is amazing, but I kind of think about it more as like an antique store or like a consignment store because it's so expensive. Um, but everything in it is amazing. So it's kind of one of those places where you, it, you will go there knowing that you're going to find something cool, but you also have to go there knowing that like you're going to pay for it. But that's okay because they also have a discount, um, which is fun. So I got this really pretty etched vase. I believe it is Romanian or Bulgarian. I forget. I looked it up and then promptly forgot. So good for me. But it's hand painted. It's wood and it's like this really pretty lacquered wood that's etched and hand painted. And it's so detailed and it's a nice big size. So I don't know. I just love it. Um, it was $14, but I had a $10 off coupon, so then it was only $4, so worth it. And then I got um, a little Mexican pottery bird, little candle holder. He's definitely an earlier one, um, but I thought he was really cool. I liked his muted tones and how his glaze kind of all sort of just like seeps into one and he's got some crazing so he's definitely an older guy i would say probably 70s cute um so i got both of those at that thrift store and then i picked up a few things when i was shopping at the antique mall so i do have some footage of some of the booths in our local antique malls um i didn't pick up too much stuff but i am really excited about the things i got so the first thing is just a little namaji um nothing crazy it was eight dollars so this is for me i'm gonna keep it it just i'm gonna pop it into my collection so it's not worth a whole lot, but it just, I like the way it all looks together, kind of stacked all pretty. So it is labeled, so success for me. Then I got a little cloisonne, cause you know I love cloisonne. Um, I liked the green, I liked the size of this. A lot of the time when I find boxes, they're really tiny and those are cute, but they're not very useful. So this guy is great because he's very useful. Um, has a little, the inside is a really pretty blue enamel and it actually still has the original price tag for $66. I paid $24 for it, so not too bad. I originally bought it for myself and ended up listing it. So it is on Etsy if you're interested in it. Um, then I got another pair of these little Mexican um, birds. So these guys are a little newer than the other one, but they are really lovingly done. So I love the flower on this guy and look a little butterfly. So I love these little, I believe they're Tanala um, pottery birds. So they are little candle holders and they are just quite beautiful. You can also tell that these are a little newer. Um, so it's a set of two because they are a little more uniform. So they're a little more perfect. This, whereas this one you can kind of tell is more handmade and also when you look at the like the little candle holder that is much skinnier than this one and that is because candles were a little bit skinnier back in the day than they are now so that's also another way to kind of tell the difference 
Um, so yeah, but these are really beautiful. They're still very shiny, uh, no crazing. So newer, but still vintage and still lovely. So these guys are listed on Etsy. Then I got, oh gosh, then I got another set of candlestick holders that I'm super stoked about. Um, these are bigger. They're also pottery and they are beautiful. So they are this really nice muted tones of kind of like a muted turquoise, like a grayish turquoise with these really pretty floral details. And look at these tones. Aren't they just so beautiful? I don't know. Maybe I, I'm silly, but I just love it. I love pottery. Um, and the they are stamped which is very nice and they're signed and dated so they are from 1991 um so i haven't looked them up yet but i'm very excited about them and they were only 12 dollars for the set so i mean i think it really kind of goes to show that you can find things at antique malls for good prices these guys were 12 dollars for the set so i just feel like that's a really great deal as well um then I got this beautiful shelf. I've shown a few of these on um, in my hauls before and I've sold maybe like four over time, but never have I found one with a bird. Oh, you guys, I just like, it's hard to let him go. He's so beautiful. Look at the detail. It's just beautiful just absolutely beautiful. Um, so I believe this was 10 or $12, something around there. So to me, that's just a phenomenal price. And again, found something awesome at an antique mall for thrift store price. Beautiful, beautiful. And he is made in India. And what's always cool is that they fold up. So it's if you ever do need to bring it somewhere, travel, move, very easy to move. So all hand carved and just absolutely stunning. All right, so I saved my favorite thing that I got from the antique mall for last because I couldn't help myself. So this to me is the ultimate example of you can definitely find thrift store prices at the antique mall. So. Look at this. All right, so do you guys know how much I paid for this? Do you know what this is, first of all? It's a Bitosi, um, Italian pottery. I absolutely love it. I love the atomic sort of mid-century design. I love the texture, I love the blue. I love this so much. And bright blue really is not my thing. I'm kind of like more into those autumnal tones, like hello, you can tell. Um, but I don't know what it is with this Italian pottery. Maybe it's the texture to it, but ooh, it just like sets my heart pitter pattering. So the um, dealer had a really cool booth, tons of great stuff. And this was kind of the only thing in her booth that she didn't seem to really know the value of because she had it just marked as pottery and um, it was marked at six bucks, guys. I was like, wait, really? Um, so I was really, really shocked when I saw the price because it's definitely worth more than six bucks. Um, I'm not sure if this will be finding its way to Etsy or not. It is beautiful. Um, I definitely, there's a part of me that wants to start collecting Bitosi, but I'm not sure if I will. Um, yeah, it has like a few little chips and like in the rim it's not perfect but it's still really lovely so special to me um then i went to the restore and i picked up a few things we have two restores near us there's actually one restore that um is a little bit south of me that I, we used to love going to and it burned down like who knew right that's a really weird thing to happen to us like a thrift store it was a huge warehouse and it burned down and they never like did anything they just kind of let it be like that forever and never rebuilt it so weird um so now though since we do have those two thrift stores by us I'm like are they sending us all the things that they 
used to have there like there's no way there was so much stuff there so I don't really know what happened to that and all the stuff because I missed that store it was cool but anyway long story short I found some neat stuff mostly at our restore is like you know furniture and stuff like that but there are a few little home wares and I did find a few treasures the first is something that is for me um it is a pottery mug lo and behold shock and awe um, but I just love the blue and the gray and the brown. I have an unexpected collection of blue and gray and brown um, toned mugs. I didn't really mean for it to happen, but it just sort of happened. And now when I open my cabinet, they're all together and they're like friends. It just looks so good, guys. So I can't part with it. Um, it's stamped on the bottom. So I briefly started looking for the stamps. I get a little cross-eyed looking at pottery markings. They're just difficult for me to look at. I'm like, oh guys, I can't see it. Um, I believe it is marked 1977 on the bottom, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but one way or the other, I loved it. I thought it was so beautiful and just sort of ethereal and, and just very, I don't know. I don't know. I loved it. So anyhow, long story short, definitely keeping that. That was $5, but I was happy to pay the $5 because I just thought it was really beautiful. Um, the next thing I got was this little pressed flower picture. So it has a little thing. The only thing that's a little wonky about it is they laminated it. But to be honest, it's kind of a good idea because it keeps it all perfect. So it would definitely not be that perfect if they hadn't done it, but it's still like a little bit weird, but it's framed under glass and I really like it. And this was $3, so not too shabby. And then um, I got these two guys. So these are super cute. Um, pair of 1970s pressed uh, flowers and plants and dried butterflies. So I loved them. I mean, pretty much everything about these I love. Um, I love the subject matter, I love the colors, I love the funky green velvet frames, like they're just so good. And what's so sweet about them is on the back, it actually has what's in them. So it says, Mini Floral by Mildred Roberts, original collage of real flowers, Poppy Daisy Pansy, North Florida. So it has like, her little like vintage tag. I don't know, there's just something so retro about it. I don't know why that gets me like so happy and giddy, but it just does. Um, they were $10 each, so you know, not like free, but I still just felt like they were worth it because they were so pretty. So I definitely had to nab that. And then um, I got a pair of sconces from the other restore near me and I was super stoked to find these treasures. <clears throat> okay, so I got a set of two, which is always good. Um, these are electric sconces, but they are vintage, obviously. Um, they are brass and then, I don't know, like look at the arms. Does that, that remind you of anything? Because to me, this reminds me so much of crab legs. Is that the weirdest thing? But look at the little like texture. Doesn't that remind you of their little like little crabby legs and their little like clawsies? I don't know. Am I the weirdest human? Probably. But anyhow, that's what it reminded me of. And I thought they were super cool. I kind of liked that. Um, very detailed and pretty. They would obviously probably need to be rewired because look at that. Whew, that is old, my friends. But they are good to go. They are ready to be ready to be loved and used. So that's fun. Um, and those were only $8 each, which I think is a really good deal. Um, if you look on Etsy or eBay, vintage brass sconces, especially the electric ones are, they go for a pretty penny. So yeah. Um, okay. I did pick up one piece of jewelry. I have been looking at jewelry, but haven't really been finding anything. So that's kind of a bummer, but what can you do? Uh, it was It's this really pretty cinnabar bracelet though. So this is definitely a win. I have found this at Goodwill, which is shocking and also delightful. I have a little collection of these that is starting. Um, and I think this might be one of the nicer pieces in my collection. 
My phone never wants to never wants to show you the goodness, but I try. Anyhow, it's really pretty, so I like it. Um, then I was just gonna end with a couple little things that I got for Easter and a couple things that I ordered for myself. So I ordered this little guy. First of all, you guys may or may not remember a few hauls ago, quite a few hauls ago, I found Swifty the Turtle by, I believe, Inesco um, and pretty much fell in love with him. And so now I've been on the hunt for more Swifty things. So I ordered the Swifty the Turtle um, candy dish. So I just thought he was so cute. I love him. He's just like the best. Look at his little face. Isn't he so cute? Um, I thought it was so great because I could use him to hold bracelets um, or any kind of jewelry. Right now I actually have candy in him because I have him in the family room. But I mean, I could use him for so many things. I love dishes and bowls. I love useful vintage. So if there's a way for me to actually get some use out of it and enjoy it and love it, then I like it all the better. So I had to order Swifty. He was super cool. Um, then the other thing I ordered, because I've been sort of on this Inesco vintage kick, um, is this little beaver. So I've been looking for his, he's the, um, ketchup I've been looking for his mustard but I can't find it in one piece but how cute is he he's like so kitsch so he said it says beaver dam mustard pond um and you just kind of pull it out because there's a little spoon so cute the problem is these are very fragile and it's hard to find it with the spoon intact. A lot of them, the spoon is broken. And I'm just weird about stuff like that. If I'm gonna order it online and I'm gonna be the one to buy it, I don't wanna buy something that's broken. I wanna buy something that's intact. So um, I really love him. I will keep looking for the, his friend, the mustard, and then hopefully I can reunite them together. I don't really know why I even bother though because like it's not like you can really have that out for guests because people don't really realize like somebody would look at that and just think it was hokey jokey and not that it's actually vintage and that it's really hard to find and almost one of a kind because there's so few left available and that makes it expensive. People don't realize that whole shenanigans, which I don't blame them. I'm like the weirdo for having everything old in my house, but you know, so I don't really know if I could use it. It's probably like more for decoration, but that's okay. All right, I'll show you the things Jordan got me for my Easter basket. Um, he did a really good job. He's super sweet. So this was my little Easter basket. It's kind of hard to show you. Um, so I'll just kind of quickly go through this. I know this is another mega long video from me. So he got me a little antique um, Easter postcard, um, just really cool wallet. That was really pretty. Tooled leather. Um, this fun little inlay trinket box. The lid opens like that. Is that cool? Um, this little owl for my owl pin collection. Love him. Love his eyes. He's definitely one of my favorite things I got from him. Um, this beautiful thick cloisonne bangle. And look, this matches my, that's so funny, this matches my box. I didn't even realize it. Look. Huh, who knew? That's cool. But yeah, I, I haven't really seen the thick one, so that was a really cool gift. So I was super excited for him to find me that. Um, then a little pillowcase, pillow cover. Is that so pretty? I just love it. I love, love, love it. So charming. And then this cracks me up. So you guys know I love Halloween. So it's like a little Halloween set of um, Russian dolls. There's not a lot in here, but the ones that are in here are pretty funny. 
It's like a terrifying cat. <laughs> and an even more terrifying pumpkin. <laughs> like, look at that guy. He's horrifying. Um, yeah, but, but cute. Definitely cute. I'm sure that the seller probably bought this at like the Goodwill outlet, but I still think it's cute <laughs> and I'm happy to rescue it. So it is wood and it is pretty charming. All right, guys. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. And the last thing he got me is this really cool um, bag. So it is real sneak. It's really fun. Um, looks like that. It's. So it is real snake and it is vintage. So it opens up like that. So I would not probably buy like a snake purse that wasn't vintage, but because it's vintage, it's just it makes it really cool. They have like an alligator one that I think you guys have seen that again, like I'm not gonna support somebody killing alligators nowadays, but this is super cool for a vintage bag. And it is real authentic snake skin. So, pretty rad. Pretty rad. Um, okay, all right, that was everything, I think. Oh, well, I have one more thing. I don't know if you guys really care, but I was super excited to find this because it's not vintage, but it's from Anthropology. Um, it's by Na Natalie, yeah, Natalie Lette. Um, She's a French artist and she did like a collaboration where she sold some of her pieces through anthropology. And for a while they had a whole bunch of these plates. They had all different ones. They were so beautiful. And I started a collection of them because I eventually wanted to have a set of them. But what I didn't realize is that they were gonna stop carrying them. And then now they're like literally, no joke, $100 on eBay for one plate. So I found this for $2.99 at Goodwill. So I literally shrieked because I have three. So now I have four. So at least I have enough now to like serve a dinner for like if a couple, another couple came over and I wanted to use them. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not that exciting because it's not vintage, but I love anthropology and I just thought it was super pretty. All right, so that is that. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I know I'm long-winded. I know I touched my hair too much. I know I have way too much stuff to show you. So I appreciate you guys so much for sticking with me and watching me throughout all of my shenanigans. You guys are the best. Um, please, 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 if you feel like it, I would love for you to subscribe. Always appreciate comments. You know the drill. Um, I, I do have another really cool haul coming up. We went to like five estate sales this weekend, which is why I'm so tuckered out and I'm super excited to show you all of that stuff. So hopefully next weekend, um, I'll have another really big haul and you guys can see all the treasure. All right. Bye.